completely and utterly useless. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Islamophobia. This is a term that Let's face it, most of us are very familiar with. Now out of the world leaders, I must say that the one that has been vocal on an international level, be it at the UN, be it at the OIC, is the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan. It causes Islamophobia because we, the heads of Muslim states, have not been able to explain to the West, not powerfully enough, that Islam has nothing to do with terrorism. So there you could see him emphasizing this at the OIC. But then the question arises, what the heck is the OIC? Now to be fair, I didn't really know much either, but OIC is the Organization of Islamic Conference. In other words, it's a bunch of quote unquote Islamic countries that get together and talk about Islamic issues. It definitely seems like they've been getting together but talking, I don't think they've been doing much of that lately because of what's going on in the Ummah. The OIC is probably like the appendix of the planet. Completely and utterly useless. Say what? They haven't been able to do anything significant. However, this is one of those very rare things that they have been able to muster up. Like I said, Imran Khan has been very vocal in the OIC, but with the backing of the OIC, they have been able to get a resolution and let's read it from Imran Khan's tweet. I want to congratulate the Muslim Ummah today as our voice against the rising tide of Islamophobia has been heard and the UN has adopted a landmark resolution introduced by Pakistan on behalf of OIC designating 15th March as International Day to Combat Islamophobia. So 15th March was when that terrorist attack happened in New Zealand where a terrorist went into a mosque and gunned down all the worshippers, I think there were at least 50 plus. And naturally as you'd expect there was some resistance and the resistance came from countries that let's face it we expect it from. France? Yeah of course France is uh, gonna be having nightmares mate. No God please no! And then of course India and the way India did it, flaming aura mate, they didn't even hide it. And you know what, let's not mention China, who apparently has joined the OIC. Now that, some people are like, yo, what they're doing to the Uyghurs and now they're in the OIC? How on earth does that even make sense? <laughs> but then others will be saying, look, this is the first step. They're coming to the OIC. Hopefully that will be an impetus for them to reverse what they are doing to the Muslims. There's going to be two types of reaction to this. The first one's going to be, oh really? How is this going to help anyone? Why don't you do something that's a bit more significant than that? Yeah, this is not enough. You guys got to do more. Wait, wait, wait. Look, you can't run before you can crawl. You have to understand that this organization is useless. <laughs> this is probably the first thing I've come across that they've actually done that's actually useful for us, especially here in the West. This is progress. And let's face it, if no one can even acknowledge that it even exists, it doesn't have a significance on the worldwide plane then how on earth are we going to get anything done? Yes, there needs to be more done. Yes, there needs to be a collective effort and the Ummah needs to unite like a lot of you guys say in the comments. Okay, but there needs to be a beginning from somewhere. There needs to be some rulers speaking out and doing something. Yeah, too many rulers, just give it all that mate. Well nowadays they can't even give it all that. <laughs> yeah, so Imran Khan, respect to him uh, for taking this forward like he says and has said in many occasions, he's been in the West, he's studied here, he's played cricket here, so he knows, he knows what's going on here. So this is the first step in the right direction. So Alhamdulillah guys, a victory is a victory and should be celebrated. We shouldn't be like those people that are constantly aiming to get the hundreds straight away. No, there's a gradual progression and a consciousness and a uh, kind of awakening and uh, awareness that needs to be brought to these things and what better time for it to be happening than now with the way the geopolitics are with the Ukraine and Russia uh, conflict that's been taking place we can see a lot of hypocrisies have come out yeah a lot of things that Muslims were not allowed to do 
Muslims were demonized and otherized and let's face it, dehumanized or even made into barbarians. But today those exact things, yeah, people going out to fight, people teaching them how to make bombs and how to kill Russians and taking away from their culture, all of that's taking place mate. But it's okay, why? Because it's within the interests of the West. <laughs> Alright guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.